Hello differential equation students. In this video we'll learn about separable differential equations. We'll first start by discussing what separable equations are. A differential equation is separable if it can be written in the form a of x dx plus b of y dy equals zero after algebraic manipulation. Once we have the equation in this form, we can find the solution by integrating both sides. A capital of X plus B capital of Y equals C, where C is the constant. And A capital and B capital are the antiderivatives of little a and little b, respectively. So, that's all we need to do. Once we write the equation in this form, we integrate it and we replace the zero with a c, because when we integrate zero, we get a constant. So let's see an example of this. Let's solve dy dx equals x e to the y minus x squared. We want to take this differential equation and write it in this form. So we'll do some algebra. First, we'll multiply both sides by dx. And put everything on one side of the equation. So I'll have dy minus x e to the y minus x squared dx equals zero. It almost looks like we have what we want, but there's this e to the y that's in front of the dx term. The dx term in my differential equation, to be separable, must only contain x's. So I will multiply both sides of this equation by e to the negative y. So we'll take the equation, We'll multiply by e to the negative y, which won't affect the zero at all, but it will pick the equation and put it into the right form. With this multiplication, I will get e to the negative y dy minus x e to the negative x squared dx equals zero. So we can pause for a moment and see that our equation is now in the form of a separable differential equation. I have a function of y dy and a function of x dx. Now, to finish the problem, we'll just integrate both sides. Integrate the left-hand side, integrate the right-hand side. Sometimes the integrals are easy to do. The integral of e to the negative y dy, we can sort of think about in our head and get that one quickly. That will be negative e to the negative y. This one is slightly more tricky to do. We'll need to make a u substitution. So, if we make a u substitution to do the integral of x e to the negative x squared dx with a negative sign out in front, we'll let u be negative x squared. So du will be negative 2x dx. And this integral will turn into the integral of what? Well, I have an x dx. So x dx with a negative sign is du over 2. And this e to the negative x squared will just be e to the negative u with a positive sign since I have a negative here. du with a 1 half out in front. So I just get 1 half e to the u is my answer. Using this idea, we integrate the second equation and get plus 1 half e to the negative x squared. And when we integrate 0, 
we get our constant C, and there is the solution of our differential equation. Thanks a lot.